All right, what's going on everyone? This has been about a month in the making, but here we are, finally just today, put the uh, final steps in place, got the last of everything moved over. So we are here live at the Preserving Hardcore Archives. I guess we're in the lounge right now. This was the final move here, five boxes of shirts. These have been up in an attic for a good while, a couple years at least. I'm actually curious to go through these myself. Probably got a sixth bin's worth of stuff once I clear out the closet. Two boxes of posters, painstakingly taken off of the walls of the old space. Actually, I gotta send some shout out here. Bunch of really cool Path to Misery live prints sent to me framed and everything by one Tanner Douglas, which if you're from the Pittsburgh area, definitely remember him taking pictures before everyone had a camera. Just wanted to say thanks to him publicly for those as we gear up for Sincerity Fest. By the way, soundtrack for the night. Code Orange, back inside the glass DVD. Filmed in the chapel, actually, at Preserving Underground. Not everyone might know that. So anyhow, if you know me, you'll probably be over here. We'll probably be hanging out at some point. If you're in a touring band, you'll probably be sleeping here. We still got a little work to do. I got a wall to build still. But hey, it's time to show off the archives. Been excited to share this with people for a while now. Finally getting to do it. Tell you a little bit about what we got going on, a little bit all about all the safeguards that we've taken and you should take too. Storing your collection in a basement is risky. I swear at least once a week, I got guys coming in rebuying a collection because of, I don't even want to say neglect, just shit circumstances sometimes. So anyhow, everything we did, first off, epoxy the floor. Secondly, all the exterior walls, dry lock, wall paint, super expensive, uh, dehumidifier, 24 seven, everything up off the floor, anything that is on an exterior wall, backings on it. All the CDs are in resealable plastic bags. Coincidence that I picked this out, very Japanese of me. So yeah, we'll start right here. A to Z, library style, only way to fit everything. For the first time in years, I have little places to grow. I'm super excited on that. I try to go quality over quantity, but at this point, to fulfill the collection, I'll buy it even if it sucks, if it's from the era that is special to me. Here's a really cool piece. These were sent to me kind of anonymously almost back when I did the Path to Misery blog. We did a write up on Disembodied during one of their many hiatuses and just kind of had these sent to me blindly. Very cool. Don't know the guy that sent them to me. One of my most prized possessions, A, because they're awesome and handmade and B, because it's nice to be appreciated sometimes for all the work I put into that thing over the years. Here's some random things. I actually just got this recently at the uh, Holiday Jam out of Reverb that we played. You know who made these. I bet you they're all blank. Haven't listened to them, but you know I'm buying anything back to basics related. And in fact, here's a cool thing. Not sure if this guy looks familiar to you, but back to basics CD discography. You'd think there'd be more? But there really isn't. There's actually mostly seven inches when you really think about it. So anyhow, like I said, A to Z. We could spend hours, days, weeks going through. Here's the cool part that I probably haven't really shown off before. Everything up here, up top. Self-released, handmade, DIY, demo, sampler, promo hand numbered fun to flip through these 
I can say this about actually pretty much everything in this room, but uh, pretty, especially on these demos, like definitely recalling memories. It was my first band. We took Ziploc bags and melted them to uh, shrink wrap them. But anyhow, uh, lots of cool stuff in here. Stuff that, you know, the internet makes everything available for the most part. Uh, most of this stuff is nowhere to be found online. I back everything up. Everything in this room is digitized on multiple external hard drives, but not that that would suffice if this stuff ever went up in flames, but better than nothing. Actually, the small amount of stuff that is on the floor, don't worry, they're all empty, but these are just color jewel cases. Always keep those whenever I come across them, because I don't even think people make those anymore. And if and when I ever get a little bit of free time in my life, I like to go through and put them in uh, into use, change out some cases, make them a little bit more unique. But anyhow, seven inches, same thing, alphabetical. Probably never gonna listen to most of these. They've all been listened to, but I'm not trying to get up and change a seven inch after one song. Not that many LPs for a guy that owns a record store, but I really purposely tried to uh, keep, a, keep a lid on that or else it's gonna get out of control just the way CDs do in this room. But uh, I don't know, maybe a couple hundred in here, I don't know. But I try to always ask myself, is this one of my favorite albums? If it is, then I buy it. If it's not, I settle on keeping it on CD. Or sometimes, uh, that never came out on CD. Situations like that. Same with cassettes, don't really buy a whole lot of those. These are a bunch of promos and samplers. Definitely remember Slither coming out, loving it then, loving it now. Before the Slipknot album came out actually had this handed to me by the band themselves saw them for free before that album came out lots of blacked out demo cassettes of high school bands that no one will ever hear some 10 inches my favorite format chub fresh can suck it look that story up if you're bored lots of love to victory actually plan on making a post about it I've uh, been on a big victory kick lately. Just kind of had this revelation about how just unbelievably relevant it is not only to my involvement in hardcore, but most people's, you know, whether directly or indirectly. And speaking of which, this is something cool I picked up back when they were auctioning off uh, everything from the warehouse. When they got bought out, these are sealed copies of every Victory Records release. Chronological order. I think I'm missing like two or three, but they will be found. Compilations down low. Definitely important way to find new bands back in the day. A little bit of DVDs and VHS. Some also very cool stuff that other people probably have never seen. Down here, actually. Uh, every camcorder format you can think of for all the... Uh, live shows that we've digitized and had on our YouTube before it got taken down, which we're actually going to be rebuilding, so stay tuned on that. Uh, this is actually probably my last project I gotta jump on. They're in plastic bins right now, but individually they are not in plastic, and that's scary. All zines, all these boxes are filled with them. Actually one of them is filled with patches stickers pins all the fun stuff i think it's this one yeah all the real weird cool stuff maybe we'll film a video going through those one day laser discs wouldn't say i'm a movie buff but i do enjoy some trash cinema there's a lot of trash cinema on laser disc Got the stereo system. Not sure why it took me like 36 years on this planet to add a subwoofer to my system. 
makes all the difference. So much cooler. You should definitely do that. Some cassettes, the worst format of all time, but you know, a lot of stuff never came out on CD. Everything that Shade put out, some solo work, uh, Infusion, Pre God Below, that's not on CD. The no Retreat demo. Multiple copies of Build Upon Frustration demo. Yeah, just stuff that uh, CD is always my first choice, but whenever it's not available, you go cassette or vinyl, I guess. But yeah, like I said, we'll be uh, catching up on a lot of lost time. This past year has been kind of wild in my life. Uh, a lot of stuff got thrown in a box over the past year. Felt good to get everything back out, organized, set up, ready to play with, ready to listen to, ready to talk some shit about or on. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. We're all set up. The move is done. Life is good. This place is built back up better than it was because that's what I do. And yeah, stay tuned. We're going to be re uploading all of the YouTube channel stuff that got taken down, which we won't talk about right now. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Lots of stuff in the works ready to uh, enjoy this stuff. Sincerity Fest has got everyone in the mood to uh, get back in the swing of things. We'll be in touch. <laughs>